this is Chef Mauricio Egleton and today I'm very excited because we're gonna cook a Mexican typical dish that it's made of two different dishes. First, we have the quesadilla that you already know, and then we have the birria. Birria is a beef stew from Jalisco, Mexico, and this will give our quesadilla a punch of flavor that I know you will love. Now let's begin our recipe. From the adobo, which is a spicy sauce, we're gonna heat vegetable oil in a deep saucepan over medium low heat, like this. And we're gonna add onion. The, you, I, I already have the onion like chopped, okay? So we're gonna add all our onion. And then we're gonna add the garlic. We're gonna put like 10 garlics in the saucepan and let's move, okay? After five minutes, we're gonna add the tomatoes. So, let's put all our tomatoes in the saucepan. Okay. Then, we're gonna add a lot of spices. So, we have right here uh, Old Spice. So, we're gonna put Old Spice. We're gonna put black pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of oregano. It's dry oregano. Then we have thyme. You can see this is thyme. So let's put a little bit of thyme. And we're gonna add cumin, okay? And then we're gonna put, or we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, like this. And we're gonna cook everything with the chiles. We have right here different kinds of chiles. We have chile guajillo. So let's put all over the chile guajillo. We have chile de árbol. This is the chile de árbol and chile ancho. So let's put all chiles in the saucepan and let's cook like four or five minutes more, okay? Then we're gonna stir all of our ingredients in the saucepan and we're going to cook with a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of water. So the water and the vinegar will soften all our ingredients in the saucepan. Then we're gonna cook 10 minutes and then we're gonna blend it, okay? Now that it's already cooked, let's blend all our ingredients. Be careful because it's very hot, okay? I wish you could smell all, all, all of our ingredients, the mixes of the chiles, the onion, the garlic. It smells very, very good. And then we are gonna blend, okay? Okay, now it's blend, we're going to put this aside and we're going to start cooking the meat. Okay, so we need this kind of pot with boiling water, okay? We, I already have boiling water right here. So we are going to put our meat. We have right here short beef and beef shank, okay? This is the beef shank, look at this. And we are gonna put in the, in the pot which have boiling water, and we're gonna put our uh, short ribs, okay? Let's cook for five minutes, and then we're gonna add the spices. I already have right here the bouquet garni. Let's put a bouquet garni, half an onion, and the garlic head, okay? So then we're gonna put black old spice, okay? Reduce heat to medium and put the lid on the pot and let's cook for 40 minutes. I don't have time, but 
Once our 40 minutes are over, we're gonna remove the bouquet garni, the onion and garlic, and then we're gonna add the adobo in the pot, okay? So we're gonna remove onion, we're gonna remove the garlic, and then we're gonna remove the bouquet garni. So, so once removed, we're gonna add the adobo through a strainer. So let's put like this, and we're gonna cook like 20 minutes more, okay? Now we are gonna add a little bit of salt in order to bring out all the flavors and thicken the broth, okay? While this is cooking, we are going to make the salsa. So, in the blender, we are gonna put the ingredients for the salsa. I already have right here coriander. Let's put all our coriander. I have two kinds of chiles. I have morita and pasilla chile, okay? So, let's put the chiles in the blender. Now I'm gonna put the onion and the garlic, okay? So I'm putting the onion and my garlic. And then we're gonna add the green tomatoes. These are already cooked, okay? So let's put the green tomatoes and a little bit of water. Like this. So now let's blend it. Blend until you get a thick puree consistency and add a little bit of salt, okay? Now we are going to reserve the salsa until we need it, okay? So let's put right here. Now we're gonna remove the meat from the broth and we're gonna cut in small pieces. The meat should be really, really tender, okay? So, we're gonna remove from the bra. Look at this. And now, we're gonna cut in small pieces, okay? So, I have my knife and we're gonna cut. Like this. Be careful with the bones, okay? And a little bit of meat that I really have, I have right here. and a little bit more. Remember to remove the bones from the meat, okay? Now that it's cut, let's make our quesabiria. So, we're gonna need a comal, or if you don't have comal, you can use a hot pan, okay? So, let's move this to the other side. And let's clean a little bit our kitchen, okay? Let's put this here. We are not going to use this anymore. So, I'm gonna put right here. And I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, so now, I already have right here my comal. Comal is a kind of a pan that it's made of, of iron, okay? So, if you don't have comal, don't worry, you can use another pan, okay? The comal is this kind of pan that it's made of iron, okay? So, we're gonna heat the comal and then we are gonna put a little bit of oil, okay? Like this. And then I'm gonna grab two tortillas and I slightly oil my, my comal, like this. 
and we're gonna heat the tortillas with a little bit of cheese to melt the cheese, okay? Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of manchego cheese. We have manchego cheese right here. That it's very good, man, it's very good cheese to melt it in the in the quesadilla. So let's put a little bit of cheese right here or like that. And now we are gonna put some meat in the quesadilla. The meat from the birria, okay? So let's put some meat like this. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of the meat in all my tortillas, in all my quesadillas. And then we're gonna heat them like one or two minutes. Then I'm gonna grab some broth where I cook the birria into the quesadillas, okay? Just like that, look at this. It smells so, so good, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of this broth. And then I'm gonna fold in half my, quesadilla, my tortilla to make our quesadilla. So let's do this like this. Look at this. Now you can see the tortilla is turning into a red color and it, and it's a little bit crispy, okay? Now I'm gonna add a little bit of the broth. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean a little bit my kitchen and I'm gonna grab another plate with some sauce and a little bit of lime and a little bit of the broth where I uh, cook the birria. So, where, what I'm going to do is this. I'm gonna take out my quesabirrias and I'm going to put here, okay, like this. And you can enjoy your quesadillas with a little bit of salsa and dip them in the broth, okay? Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe as much as I do. And don't forget to check out our content in our social media. See you until next time.